it sounds like. How does it, how does it feel to actually like um, set your sights on another team finally? Uh, it, it feels so good. We know season's here. Everybody excited. We can't wait to you know to learn learn their schemes, learn their plays, and just get after it. Season's right around the corner. We got a game day next week, so we can't wait. You had a good season last year, but do you feel like you know, this, you can kind of take the next step this year and kind of you know, be a kind of a name guy in Pac-12 and nationally this year? Is that kind of on your mind? Yeah, um, last year it was, it was a good year, but I know I can do so much better watching myself last year and the things I wasn't so good on. And I feel like this year it's, it's, it's all up to me about how I approach things. And this team is it's going to be an amazing year, and I can't wait to see what we do as a team and how I develop throughout the year. What do you need to work on developing? Everything. I want to run fits, pass coverage, man coverage, zone, blitzing, just everything. What's the biggest improvement the defense has made since last year, what do you think? I believe our uh, run game is has elevated a lot. You know, stopping the run, it, it, should be, it should be good. Hopefully, hopefully we can display that next Saturday. What did you guys do to improve that area? Putting, uh, putting players in the right situations at the right positions and, and getting together as a offense, I mean as a defense and seeing where we need to fit in our gaps in certain places and just just making corrections with uh, the coaches is, is going good. The spot next to you at middle linebacker is still up in the air. What does each guy bring to that unit? They're both smart players. They're both very physical, athletic, and both of them can start. They're both starters in my, in my eyes. And, Either, either one who starts and wins that position, I'm, I'm glad to play next to. And I'm pretty sure they'll both be playing in the game on Saturday. So they'll be ready and I will too. How are they different? Like different? Uh, eyes, eyes are skinny skinny. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, both, they're both good players. And it's up to the coaches uh, who starts. How does going against this type of offense help you guys? Or how do you think it will help you guys going into the season? Well, I've been going against this offense since I got here. <laughs> And or so is most of the guys. So. The scheme, particularly. Well, you know, it's a little faster tempo, and you know, we 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 know what's coming, and we, we got to be ready for it. We know it's tempo, it's spread, hurry up. We got a nice quarterback that can run the ball, nice receivers. It's going to be a very physical game. Knowing what's only like you know him, does that help your defense going into this game a little bit, give it edge, or do you think he's going to throw some at you? Well, he knows our he knows our defense, and they know, we know our off their offense, so. You know, so I think it's pretty even. So it's just up to the plan to do the talking. You guys played in Texas a couple years ago. How does that experience help with what you guys are about to face the first week? Uh, well, I know we're good. We're good playing away game, but last time we played in Texas, I think it was a dome, and A&M is an open stadium, and the humidity and the heat, all that. But we're really not worried about that. We're really worried about just coming in out there prepared, ready, special teams, offense, defense, to just play as a team. All the rankings are out now. I think you guys are 16th in the AP, the SIX 23rd, the Amway 24. Do you guys look at that, care about that stuff, talk about it? Give a short look at it, but at the end of the day, everybody starts off at 0-0. Zero zero, so at the outcome, uh, we'll see what happens. Do you, do you compare yourself to other Pac-12 schools, particularly like SC, and, and kind of get a chuckle out of being above above them, or does that that doesn't matter? We don't. We we're not focused on that. We just focus on AM and and trying to better ourselves and, and win game one. What about, uh, have, you, have you enjoyed having uh, Trevor around the team? Has he helped you the mental conditioning guy? Yeah, Trevor, he's a great guy. He's, he's got, he helped us as players and some, and some of the other leaders just have a more of a voice and just change the thought process and the, our team's thought process of, of like our positivity the words we say around each other and how we act around each other. So it, it's been helping a lot. So you put you guys through exercises too, in addition to just talking to you, or how's it, how's it work? Yeah, we do, we do uh, mental exercises with them and verbal exercises. It's all, it's, it's, it's really good. It's, it's really good, so I think it's helping the team a lot. What, what kind of exercises are they? I can't explain them exactly, but it's like a little thought process of having us write down certain things. Uh, talk, talking to somebody or sitting next to somebody that you normally wouldn't sit to and just getting to know them and what they what their goals they want and the goals that you want compare and how can I help you be become a better player and how can I keep you focused throughout the year so you can't become that better player. A lot of your teammates have been saying that this feels like a much closer team than last year. 
You agree with that one? Yeah, 100%. 100%. And how much of what Trevor's brought to the table do you think has affected that? Most of it. He he got us on the right path, and it's up to us to continue down that right path and keep each other accountable and just just have each other's back. So I think, I think it's going good, and if we can keep this throughout the whole season, it can be amazing.